flat. Uh huh. Louder, please. Go ahead. In the key of E flat. Say no. In the key of A flat, you have an A flat over E flat, mm -hmm. which is the one over the five. All right. Mm -hmm. Then you take that to a F seven, which is the six, to a B flat dominant seven, which is a two, to an E flat dominant seven, which is the five to your one. Okay. To get to that, you walk it up in the bass from C, D flat, D, E flat. So you go, boom, go, boom. First chord, three, mm -hmm. two, five, one. Turn around. All right. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Or then you can add a little flourish in the right hand. Boom, 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 all right, the flourish in the right hand, I know that's extra, but yep. is there any particular methodology to that other than what I was doing already? Well, it's just improvisation, that's all it is. So I'd have to fill it on my own, basically? Well, no, you can learn the lick that I just played. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chromatic walk from C up to D flat that you just did it corresponds to the one in the left hand. Yep. Okay. Play okay. both hands. All right. What I did, I played in the octaves, four octaves. C, 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 C. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. All right. And now one last question while the video's still rolling. Uh, left hand. I know down at the cross in the key of A flat in my right hand. I have all the right hand stuff down, but I can't seem to figure out how. I know the song progresses from the bass from being an A flat to D flat, basically, and I don't know how to um, transition up and down, and let alone even build a bass. And I know well, you gotta learn the scales. I know the A flat scale and the D flat scale. Well, all you're gonna use is the A flat scale, all right? And, and you build your bass line according to the chords you play. Alright. You do one five, four, one. So what I did was one five of the one chord, one five of the four chord. So that's that's a basic bass line that you can use. Alright. Down cross chord changes to D flat. Mm -hmm. And you do one five back to A flat. Okay. Same thing. Now I will play down where from. I will do that. So down where from C, B from B flat. Did you get that? Okay, so the B the B flat would be in this case the two of the uh, two five. So two of flat five and then because no, I played five. regular That's dominant five. Seven. Okay. So, I do a diminishing it. Okay, so basically, you're having. Bass line corresponds with my chord. Okay, you see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Do it one more time. And then everything else is just a whole step or half step up to that when you form the walking bass line. I'm gonna walk in a minute. Okay. Let me get your right hand good now so I can get that walk. Walk in my left hand. And, all right, here's the walk.
mind explaining the walk? The walk was the same thing of the chords I did is I just used passing tones and the scale to get from chord to chord. And there's a system for the particular passing tones you use? I could walk in arpeggio. Uh, all I did was to walk the arpeggio. So what I did was one, three, five, six, one, three, five, six on the first chord, and the same thing, one, three, five, six on the full chord. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's what you need to learn patterns in every key. Okay. So if I'm in the key of C, one, three, five, six, D flat, three, five, six, D, three, five, six, E flat, okay, that three, five, six, and you can play that pattern in every key. That's not pentatonic, is it? No, it's one, three, five, six. Pentatonic is once you major pentatonic, minor pentatonic. Oh, see here? Okay. Thank you, bitch. Okay, in the, in the, in the very, the very last scene. You got a daughter one No, your mama tell me. Well, <laughs> oh, congratulations. <laughs> I hear you, man. Oh, congratulations. You know, man, they got a, a thing for this. I'm about to... They got, it's a, they got another case.